Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to apply a set of simple formulas in our Excel sheet. If you see here, this is like a typical bank's portfolio management and account details. This is the account number, this is the name, the principal amount they have invested, the period of number of years people have invested and the interest rate. So if you see account number 101, that person Ramu has invested 10,000 whichever rupees or dollars at the 8.5 percentage interest rate for three years. The interest rate is different for different people. The period for which people have invested is all different. Now I want to calculate the interest amount. You know I is equal to the interest equal to P into N into R divided by 100. Usually this R will be represented as percentage. So you have to divide it by 100. So now if we want to calculate this value. So I manually go to calculator. Let us open calculator. So the value of this is I is equal to P and R by 100. So 10,000 star 3 star 8.5 divided by 100. So the amount interest in should be, this is simple interest by the way, it should be 2550. Okay. Now let us calculate it over here. If you want to apply formula, all you need to do is put an equal to sign. That The moment you press the equal to sign, it becomes a formula. So what do you want to do? This cell, select the cell, this cell, then what is the operator you want to do? Star multiplication star for multiplication this cell select that cell then star mark then this cell then divided by you put this slash 100 hit enter now you get this value so you have calculated this for one cell for this one row now you want to apply the same formula for all these things if you see here the moment you selected the cell, automatically he said C2 star D2 star E2 divided by 100. Now I want to apply the same formula for all these people. Now select that cell, control C for copy, you could see the highlighting. Then select all these cells, highlight it using the mouse, control V, paste. The moment you do the paste, automatically he pasted the formula. If you look at this formula, it says C2 star D2 star E2. If you select this cell, automatically it finds out C3 star D3 star E3. So depending upon whichever row you you are positioning your cursor, it automatically shows the formula and this is the interest earned by different accounts for different period. All you need to do is go to that particular cell, put the equal to sign and put the formula for that. Now, what we want to do is I want to sum it up. It is very simple. We have already seen this. I want to have the total and I will say total equal to equal to sum type SUM then put the open bracket then select the cell using the mouse then once you finished your selection put the close bracket hit enter this is the total interest earned for all the people for all the accounts. So the way you want to apply a simple formula is like this. Okay. Now, once we have got this, what I want to do is, I want to know whoever is, how many number of people are earning interest more than 5,000 rupees. How do I find out? And I want to find out how many people have invested beyond 10,000 rupees. The number of people I want to do, the number of people, okay, this is the total. Uh, I want the count. If you want to get the count, I want to get the count of people who are investing beyond 10,000 rupees. 10,000 or more. So to do that, again, this is a formula, put the equal to sign, then count, type count. There are different things, count means cells, number of cells in that range, count A means which are not blank. There is something called count if. If you use count if, okay, um, I have not finished. Uh, count if, then open the bracket. First, it says the moment you type the open bracket, it says range. 
then the criteria to select the range use the mouse highlight that range okay now you have got the range so you have given the first parameter put the comma then it says criteria criteria is I want you have to put the criteria within double quotes put the criteria what I want is greater than or equal to 10,000 okay this is this is a condition criteria is a condition okay end with double quotes then close the bracket hit enter now it says 3 because this is one this is one this is one there are three people who have invested beyond 10,000 now if you want to edit the formula go here I want to know now find how many people have invested beyond 20,000 change the formula hit enter it now shows 2 okay now what we want to do is we want to copy the same formula how many people have invested beyond uh, 5 years okay greater than 5 years now I can say copy the formula go to this cell copy that now I want to change the condition what do I want to do I want to know whoever have invested beyond 5 years greater than 5 provide that condition hit enter now it says there is only one person who has invested beyond 5 years that is this row so the moment you change some values I go here and then change the value here watch this when I change this this value will change this value will change this value will change so the, I am going to change this 4 to 7 I hit that to 7 move that this is changed this is changed this is changed so the moment you because I have applied formula here I have applied formula here I have applied formula here all these formulas they are based on some other cells so the moment you do this this cell says anything greater than 5 get me the count not the sum this is sum this is a count this is a pure mathematical formula so using Excel you can do a lot of wonders like this this is just a simple formula there are complex formula that you can apply and that will be used in um, financial markets uh, insurance markets even for all data analysis with that we end this session thank you for visiting openmentor.net